In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a technique known as canvas prompting to put real world products and real people into your AI generated videos. This can unlock insane advertising creative options for e-commerce and physical product companies without ever having to hire a camera crew. You'll simply need a couple of different images, one of your subject and another of your product. From these inputs, we can generate realistic ads featuring both your subject and your product. All right, let's jump in. All right, let's start with a quick demo showing the inputs and outputs of this process. So the input is a canvas prompt showcasing our subject, a picture of our subject, and an image of our product that we want featured in the VO3 generated ad, as well as a prompt describing the advertisement. Then with that canvas, we generate the advertisement in VO3. You can see that the product fidelity is really, really good. It's perfectly bringing in the image of our product into the advertising video. Let's go again. Here the subject is an influencer UGC style person as well as the AG1 product that we want featured in the ad and again another prompt describing the advertisement. Then we generate an ad based off that canvas. Elevate your mornings with a boost of vitality. Pretty impressive. Again, it's not always perfect. You know, generating these videos is oftentimes like pulling a slot machine. I like to start my day with AG1. It's packed with vitamins and minerals to keep me energized and focused. I like to start my day That's with impressive. AG1. It's packed with vitamins and minerals to keep me energized and focused. Insanely impressive. Again, the product fidelity is amazing. Last one here before we break down exactly how to do this and do a live build is this product of these Nike Airs. Um, so again, we have our subject, we have the product we want featured in the ad and a prompt, and we bring that into Flow and generate it with the VO3 model. Elevate your game. Pretty sweet. Again, the basketball, we'd wanna tweak the prompt, but it's nailing the product fidelity. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into a live build and generate an ad for the popular lip balm company, Burt's Bees. But before we do that, I wanna let you guys know if you want all these prompts and all of these canvases so that you can practice recreating this on your side, you can download everything in our free AI automation community here in school. The links in the YouTube description would highly recommend joining. We have thousands of people who are all helping each other learn AI automation in this community. So join for free. You can snag all the prompts from this video and we'll see you in school. All right, let's keep going. All right, here we go. Now that we've seen some of what's possible and some demos, let's do a canvas prompting UGC style ad live and you guys can follow along. Feel free to skip around. Let's make one for Burt's Bees, which is you know a popular lip balm type of brand. As shown, what we need is first we need a picture of the product. So let's just go to Google and go Burt's Bees lip balm. And we just need an image of it. So save it down. Then we're gonna go to Midjourney and create our subject or our influencer who we want featured in the ad. I'm gonna use ChatGPT to generate a Midjourney prompt for this. So I'm just gonna voice note here. You're an expert image prompt generator. I need you to come up with a prompt that shows a middle-aged attractive woman in her kitchen influencer UGC style look natural realistic all right cool now chat GPT should come up with a prompt that we can plug into mid journey all right we're just going to take that we're going to bring it over to mid journey and we're going to generate our influencer now of course we could do this with real people you just need an image of your creator or your subject that you want featured in the video ad. 
Okay, it's not bad, but it's a little too portrait cinematic. Also, the woman's a little too old. So let's go back to ChatGPT. The woman in the image is too old, make her younger. Also, we need it landscape, not portrait style, um, because this is gonna be fed into a video generation model. So update the prompt. And also don't make the photo as cinematic, just make it look real. Okay, we'll let it regenerate the prompt. All right, so I came up with a new prompt based on our suggested edits. Let's bring that into Mid Journey. All right, nice. These are obviously a lot better. So we can just choose one. Let's go with her. Uh, so we're gonna save it down. Okay, next step. You can do this in any um, editing software you want. I'm choosing Canva. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the image that we just generated and the product that we want featured in the video ad. And that's really it. Then we're just going to annotate the image with a draw. All right, and so we're going to give it a little arrow to tell the video generation model, like, you know, hey, we want this product getting transitioned into the video. And last, we need to come up with a prompt telling the video model, like, what we want to have happen in this ad. So again, we're gonna to go to ChatGPT to come up with that prompt. Now I need you to create a prompt for a video generation model like Google VO3, where I want the young woman to reach down onto the counter, grab the lip balm, apply it to her lips and say, I never go anywhere without my Burt's Bees lip balm. This should be fully lifelike movements and it's an advertisement for Burt's Bees. So really focus on the Burt's Bees lip balm. So notice I just do meta prompting here. I'm just voice dictating into ChatGPT and letting it come up with a, the prompt to power the image generation and the video models. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, here's a strong Google VO3. And why do I do this? It's because AI is way better at building prompts than humans. And so I've found that I get better results just meta prompting. And so going back and forth with the models to get to hone in on the exact concept that I want. So a young, attractive woman in her late 20s stands in a bright, realistic kitchen. She reaches down onto the counter, picks up a Burt's Bees lip balm tube and brings up her lips. She applies the balm to me. All right, so here's the prompt that we're going to bring into the canvas. Now we need to make sure this can fit. Now, this can you could also add this prompt just like straight in to VO instead of putting it on the canvas, but I've been getting good results like this, so this is how I'm going to do it. Let's also just make the text red so it's very clear. And here we go. And this is the canvas that we're going to bring into VO3. So let's download this. All right, now we're gonna switch over to VO3. All right, here we are in VO. We're going, to, we're in flow actually, which is how I like to access VO3. There's obviously a lot of different ways you can access the VO3 video generation model. But within flow, we're gonna to go to frames to video, and we're going to add that canvas that we just generated. So there it is, let's bring that in. Then we also do need to add text with the frame. So we can just say, um, lip balm advertisement. You can experiment. This is where you could also include the full prompt if you don't want to include it in your canvas, but we'll just keep it succinct. Uh, so we're on VO3 fast, and now we're just gonna let it do its thing and generate this. All right, so here we go. We have two different options and let's watch them. I never go anywhere without my Burt's Bees lip balm. Okay, I think it's okay. Um, the product fidelity is okay. You can see that the lip, the lip balm tomb is a little larger than I feel like it would be in real life. Let's see how the other video did. I never go anywhere without my Burt's Bees lip balm. <laughs> 
Again, it's not bad. Uh, I would adjust the prompt to to get the lip balm to match even closer. I also might feed it different images. So let's try that actually. So let's grab a different image and just see what happens. So instead of this large one, let's see if this helps at all. We're gonna remove the background. All right, then we're gonna go back to the prompt. And again, meta prompt to edit in the way we want. The video that was generated made the lip balm seem too large. Edit the prompt so that the Burt's Bees lip bulb tube is smaller and more of its real size in real life. All right, so let's come back with a refined prompt. So let's pull that prompt into here. Shrink down the text slightly. Okay, let's see if this has any positive impact. Now remember, using these models is like pulling a slot machine. You know, we can keep regenerating and eventually you're gonna land on a really high quality option. So let's see what happens here. Okay. So again, let's just try and let's let it generate it again. All right, so it's finished generating. Let's see what it looks like this time. I never go anywhere without my Burt's Bees lip balm. All right, that's pretty impressive. That's cool. I never go anywhere without my Burt's Bees lip balm. And so again, what we'd be doing is we'd be mining this footage. So, you know, we'd probably cut it, honestly, probably like here. And that would be one clip that we use in the ad. And then we'd probably cut it to just a close up of the bird's bees. So remember when we're generating this footage, we're really trying to just get pieces and then stitch that together into a full advertisement. Let's see how this other one worked. <music> I never go anywhere without my Burt's Bees lip balm. All right, struggle a little bit with the product fidelity. <clears throat> I don't like the music either. I never go anywhere yeah, without my Burt's mark on that one. So it does seem to be struggling a little bit more with these smaller items. With earlier ads that we made, it really nailed the fidelity. But again, we could keep refining and I know we could get very, very high quality clips if we keep pulling that slot machine and keep refining the prompts in the way that we've just done. I never go anywhere without my Burt's Bees lip balm. But that's really good. That's pretty impressive. And there you have it. If you want the exact canvases and prompts that I used in this video, join our free AI automation mastery community and you can download them in the YouTube section. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button because we're gonna be breaking down exactly how we're using AI to automate our business here at The Recap on this YouTube channel. We have sales, marketing, support, and operations automations that will literally 50X the productivity of your business. So hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.